Hello, this is Dr. Joseph with Vail Summit Orthopedics, and today I want to discuss a little bit about signs that you're developing arthritis. Arthritis, as you can imagine, is a really common thing and a common ailment that we see, uh, especially here in the mountains. We have such a, a big active uh, population that really gets out there and does stuff. And arthritis typically just kind of slowly sets in. Sometimes it can be from an injury, but more commonly patients just start to notice it. Uh, and it's of course a little bit with age, people kind of call it wear and tear. Um, so what I tend to call arthritis or how I describe arthritis is of course your joints have good slippery cartilage on each surface of them. And so arthritis can affect any joint, but commonly the knee. So here's some cartilage on the end of this bone and there's cartilage on the end of this bone. And I kind of liken it to sort of rubber on the tires and it makes everything slippery and it works great when you're 16 years old. And slowly but surely over time and over life, the slippery cartilage on the end of the bone can get narrowed and it can get thinned. And as it gets thinned, it starts to become roughened and it doesn't flow as well. And that's basically arthritis. And so I kind of liken it to losing a little bit of rubber on the tires. It creates an inflammatory, painful response, and that's often how we first treat arthritis, is with an anti-inflammatory angle. Sometimes we'll do injections, which is an anti-inflammatory liquid, and that can be in, in hand joints, wrist joints, elbow joints, big joints, uh, and it works really well. It works surprisingly well. Um, there is surgery for arthritis, and they all vary uh, in, in the location in the body, but there's basically uh, arthritis surgery for almost all treatments. Now, we never start with surgery. We almost always start with conservative measures, and that can, that can give patients a lot of relief, a surprising amount of relief for years. If it gets to be that that type of treatment, be it injections or therapy or anti-inflammatories or strengthening doesn't help it, then we start discussing the surgery. And the types of surgery for uh, arthritis include replacements that everybody knows about, like knees and hips. And there's also other types of surgery where you remove or clean up the arthritis and put in some soft tissue, and that tends to give it more padding. So arthritis is very common, and patients often are quite debilitated from it, but especially around here, there's so many tough patients that they end up just, quote, living with it. And when they get it fixed, a lot of times patients are like, boy, I wish I would have done that earlier. I could have gotten back to biking or whatever they're into much sooner. So if you've got, if you think you have some symptoms of arthritis, which is often aching and stiff joints and a little swelling, then come see us at Bell Summit Orthopedics. Dr. Joseph.